Hi friends, it's me Beth. Something a little different today. I'm actually in my car because I happen to be at Mass General Hospital in Danvers and I thought, let me show you a little hidden secret very close by. And if you say you've been here, then you are a history nerd like me because this place is not easy to find. I'm going to show you what is believed to be the oldest cultivated tree ever brought to America, the Endicott pear tree. So, you know, wish me well because I'm going to be trying to hold my camera while I'm driving because it's a tricky place to find, but I'm going to show you how. Let's check it out. So I'm using the Cancer Center as kind of a home base because you can't access it through the Cancer Center, but I'm going to show you how. So assuming you might be coming off a highway, if you enter the address that I'll show you here, you'll be near the strip mall over here with a market basket, or if you're local, you call it the basket, and you're going to be taking a right out of the uh, Mass General parking lot, or if you came off the uh, highway, you'll go right past Mass General to the next right you can take, and I'll show you what that is when we get over there. So I'm being safe, and this is probably going to be crooked. I'm going to take the first right that I can, even though it looks like oh, there's nothing here. Uh, a little tricky. It is going to be this next right, and let's check it out see what it says. It's actually kind of where the old Sylvania used to be, Brightview Senior Living. But we're not going there yet, even though, as you guys know, I'm on the old side. We're going to go right through this parking lot. Bring your carriages back, people. It's rude. And we're going to keep on going. And you're going to be like, where in the hake is she bringing me? There's absolutely nothing over here to see. I'm going to be honest with you, because I have missed this site more than once myself. Still going through the parking lot here. Looking, looking, looking. This is not the spot. Nope. Little more. Little more. Oh, I found it. All right. I found it, guys. Let me safely park and I'll show you how to get down there. So this is how we came in. We went past the Mass General Cancer Center. You went past it from the highway or you use that as a starting point and took a right at the light. The first right after that that you were able to take, we'll say Brightview Nursing Home, but you're actually going into this deserted lot. You go by this big lot and then there's a smaller lot right here and there's my red car parked because down here, I believe one of the most hidden historical sites in the area is the oldest cultivated tree ever brought to America. It's called the Endicott Pear Tree. So this site has been developed quite a bit around it. It's not that easy to access. I will be honest with you, it took me actually a few years of randomly looking for it to realize it's actually down an embankment through this tiny crack in the wall. So you will enter here and here we do have a historic sign that we are in the right place and this is in fact the Endicott Pear Tree. Growing on this site is the oldest cultivated tree in America, planted somewhere around 1632 by John Endicott, the first governor of the Mass Bay Colony. So let's get a closer look at this tree. This tree has been alive, oh my goodness, do I have to do fast math? Is it 360 years or something? And if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself like I usually do. I'm also walking down a very steep embankment, as you can see, so wish me luck on that too. But here is the beautiful Endicott pear tree. So John Endicott, the first governor of the Mass Bay Colonies, uh, settled in Salem because many of you know that Danvers was Salem originally, old Salem village before it uh, would be converted later to Danvers and the name changed. This was part of Governor Endicott's first estate. He was given over 300 acres on this land and he would plant this pear tree in the hopes that it would live a very long life. And here it is. It's a beautiful tree. It is still growing pears. Uh, this is not the season because we're in fall now. Let me try to get a nice little view of this tree and how it's holding up. I tell you, this tree has been through a lot. It's been vandalized, it was set on fires, the branches were cut off. I don't know what the hell's the matter with people, to be honest with you, why people want to destroy beautiful things. But uh, this tree is a survivor, like many of us. And I guess that's appropriate that this tree that survived so long, still cultivating fruit, is behind the uh, cancer center behind me. So there's a reason why I've given you this short little tutorial how to find this beautiful little tree behind the Mass General Cancer Center because unfortunately I was diagnosed with cancer in August. Did have to cancel my tours, close my company, 
I apologize to all my guests from YouTube who are scheduled to tour with me. Believe me, I miss my tours. I love them dearly. Uh, but I'm in process of undergoing treatment now. My cancer is not curable, but it is treatable. I am certain many people watching this are going through the same thing yourself or with your family or friends. You just keep fighting every day, friends, right? So I might be doing less videos. I'm still going to try to sneak some in, you know, okay, because I'm not dead yet. So we'll do the best we can. I just want to thank you all for being on my journey with me uh, through this area that I love, Salem, Greater Salem. And I will see you soon. I will talk better, maybe. <laughs> uh, I will see you guys again soon. So in the meantime, if you're going through Danvers, you're feeling like you want to find a hidden spot, check out the Endicott Pear Tree. Bye, friends. So I'm back in my car. I'm going to the basket actually to get dinner. Um, but you know I always have a PS. So my PS is this. I'm not doing tours anymore, unfortunately. I don't foresee myself doing them again in the future. However, I'm still a Salemite. I still love my city. I can still share its history. And if you need any tips, suggestions, um, maybe ask me what other tours in town I like. Any uh, Anything you'd like to chat with me about, feel free to drop me an email. I'll have all my contact information somewhere at the end of this and uh, hope to still be in touch with you guys. I'm happy to help any way I can to make your visit more enjoyable. Salem and the surrounding area is a fantastic place to visit. Definitely should be on your bucket list. This really is the final goodbye for now. See you soon.